What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and you're watching our Big Ten Football Channel. Iowa had a tough draw out of the Big Ten East in 2019 playing both Michigan and Penn State. At least they didn't play Ohio State who they will play in 2020. Uh, the non-conference schedule for them last season. And they had Iowa State who they play every year. And that's the one thing I guess I would complain about a little bit if I was an Iowa fan is, yeah, you play Iowa State every year, but because of that, they really don't ever schedule any other big non-conference games. And that's the same thing in 2020. Same case, they will play Iowa State. They will not play any other Power 5 non-conference opponents. And it is what it is. But uh, when you play nine conference games and then you have a, a rivalry game like that, it's, it's kind of tough to schedule another Power 5 opponent. That will make your schedule pretty tough. Uh, but here is the 2020 schedule. They open up with Northern Iowa on September the 5th. Uh, not a bad FCS team, but a team that Iowa should be able to beat. And then in week two, they will play Iowa State, as they do every year. Rivalry matchup there. Um, Iowa's done a nice job in this rivalry uh, the last few years. Uh, it seemed like it used to be where uh, it was going kind of back and forth. But it seems like Iowa, uh, and, and I haven't looked at the history. This is just off the top of my head. It seems like Iowa's done a pretty good job. Uh, as of late in this series. And then in week three, this is going to be a tough matchup. It's on a Friday night at Minnesota. It will be the Big Ten opener for the Hawkeyes. Minnesota comes back this year looking like they are going to be very strong once again. Very tough to beat teams on the road on those weekday games, Thursday, Friday night games. Uh, so that will be a very tough matchup, in my opinion, for Iowa. But they beat them last year, and they're capable of winning again. Uh, should be a pretty pretty fun matchup early in the season get to watch it on a friday night uh, that will be a lot of fun there minnesota versus iowa september 18th then on september 26th they will play northern illinois the game will be at home for iowa and that'll do it for the non-conference schedule so they play northern iowa iowa state and northern illinois in the non-conference and then they get back into big 10 play where they will play michigan state on october the third at home october 10th on the road at Ohio State, and I don't know if anyone in college football has a tougher back-to-back -back than on the road at Ohio State on October 10th, and then on the road at Penn State on the 17th. That is brutal. I mean, that is brutal. Uh, so I don't expect Iowa, more than likely, they're not going to win either one of those games, and so that's going to be a tough, tough spot in the season there. You lose, If they do, in fact, lose both of those matchups, you kind of come back and say, you know, you can't lose the locker room. You, you know, they could be undefeated at that point, lose two games, and everyone's going to say, well, the season's over. They can't do that because this is still a team, even if they lose both of those games, this is still a team that I think has a shot to win the Big Ten West if they can take care of business down the stretch and they get some of their bigger games at home. So there's no reason to think this team uh, can't do it. Now, if they lose to Minnesota and then lose those two games, uh, it could be a pretty rough year for Iowa. Now, that Minnesota game, again, going to be really big for both teams. They'll play Northwestern on October the 24th, and then they'll have Halloween off, no game on October 31st. Back into it in November, they'll go on the road to play Illinois, November 7th. Uh, that's one of those spots. Remember Wisconsin upset Illinois, or excuse me, Illinois upset Wisconsin last year? That could be one of those spots where uh, Iowa had better be careful. Don't sleepwalk into that game. Illinois is going to be pretty solid this year. Nebraska on November 14th. Who knows how good they're going to be. That could be a pretty tough matchup. Purdue should be improved. They'll play them on the road November 21st. And then Wisconsin November 28th at home for Iowa, a game that could decide the division. Maybe not. I think the schedule is so tough for Iowa that it's possible they're out of it by that point. I mean, again, you look at – Ohio State and Penn State on the road. Purdue, Illinois, and Minnesota on the road. Five road games in the conference. Five games that are all going to be tough. Those None of those games Iowa is going to have an easy game in. Um, so that is really, really tough when you look at those matchups there. Again, on the road at Ohio State, at Penn State. Tough, maybe toughest back-to-back -back schedule in the country. And then Minnesota on a Friday night on the road. Illinois, a sneaky good team. Purdue, a team that should be improved. Uh, they do get Michigan State at home, Nebraska at home, Northwestern at home, Wisconsin at home. But all in all, the, the Big Ten schedule for Iowa this year is brutal. Uh, it may be the toughest schedule in the Big Ten, or at least in the Big Ten West. The good news for them is, is they don't have a huge matchup in the non-conference. They do play Iowa State, uh, who should be pretty good this year. So, again, a very respectable schedule for Iowa. Uh, probably going to be 
one of, if not the toughest schedule in the Big Ten this season.